Okay, now I think what we'll do is we'll demonstrate the little torch with acetylene gas. Just a reminder that the little torch will work with any fuel gas, whether it's uh, acetylene or propane or propylene or uh, city gas, uh, you know, providing you've got the correct pressure for that city gas. Uh, it'll also work with hydrogen, uh, which it'll, and it'll work very well for platinum. Again, what I'd like to do is show the flexibility using acetylene gas, which actually gives us the most pinpoint heat. Um, it's typically not as, as preferred for platinum applications, but uh, for silver and gold applications certainly works very well. In this case, what I'll do is start out with the size 2, which would be the smallest tip that we would use with the little torch, uh, which has a synthetic sapphire uh, in the end, the size 2 and the 3, to maintain the very small diameters, and that's a, a laser-drilled synthetic sapphire. Uh, We've got our pressure set uh, for these tips to, to use these. There's typically different pressures, once again, for different tips, but we had, we've set them here today so that we can, we can illustrate all the different tips and uh, how to light those and what they look like and how to adjust them. <clears throat> so again, our nifty little magnetic torch stand, just simply twist your fingers to pull it off of that stand. And in this case, once again, with the very small tip with a number two, it's a lot easier to light with an open flame than a big spark light or striker uh, like one of these things, uh, or uh, uh, especially um, an automatic igniter, electric igniter like this, a battery operated igniter, kind of a nifty tool. But um, what we did, we purged the lines once again. We're going to open the fuel very slightly and then we're going to light that with the open flame and then we'll add oxygen to it to bring it down to a neutral flame, what we call neutral. So what we've, we'll purge that for a few seconds. Just to, we, It's just a good habit to get into every time before you light the torch. And we'll open the fuel gas, we'll open that slightly and we'll ignite that flame. Now we, we'll probably set it right in that vicinity right there. If we go beyond that, it'll actually just blow out. And then we're gonna slowly add oxygen to that to bring that down to a pinpoint flame, to a neutral flame like that. So you can see that this can get very minuscule for uh, like safety chain on a watch or something, very, very small part. It's a still a 6,000 degree flame. Uh, it's the same temperature as the rosebud or the bigger tips. But what I want to do is show you the flexibility of the little torch, which is a kind of a does-all uh, piece of equipment. And, and again, its size can be deceiving. It's very small, but it, it will work for small all the way up to very large components. So that is uh, the smallest flame, the number two. And to extinguish that once again, what we'll do is we'll shut off the oxygen first, we'll, and then we'll shut off the fuel gas. Okay. Again, you can do it the other way if you prefer to do it that way. Now I'm going to remove this, take a wrench, and uh, oftentimes you can tighten these by hand. Now what we will do is apply our size 7 tip, which is the largest tip uh, for the little torch and uh, would be the largest for any of the fuel gases. Uh, again, you know, little torch will work with any fuel gas and oxygen. Apply that tip and snug it with a wrench. And uh, then what we want to do is, again, we want to purge the line slightly just to make sure we don't have any mixed gases for a couple of seconds on each gas. And then we're going to open our fuel slightly. Now this is going to be a substantially larger flame. But what we've done is we've sort of illustrated the, the flexibility of this torch from a number 7 to a number 2. And the other tips obviously have flame sizes in between. And uh, so it, it'll, it'll illustrate that this has a tremendous capacity, even though it's a very small torch. It's, it's flexible enough and has the capacity to do just about any job that you'd want to do in the, as far as jewelry applications. So what we'll do is we'll open, and this is what we're going to illustrate here is how you typically would set a neutral flame with these torch tips. Some jewelers may carburize these. They may turn them down a little bit. If, if the torch handle starts to get hot, if the tip discolors and gets overheated, it's typically because we're starving that tip from gas. We're not forcing enough fuel through it uh, pressure-wise or adjustment-wise, and uh, it's receding in the tip, and it, it'll cause that tip to overheat, and we, we don't want that. We don't want that to certainly go very far. So what I'm going to do is open the gas valve slightly, ignite that, and what we're going to do is turn that up until the soot disappears from the end of that flame. And the next step is to make this into a neutral flame. And the way we'll do that is add oxygen to that flame. And as we add oxygen, you'll notice there's a big bright feather in there. 
We want to bring that down, add oxygen, until it just evens up with that very bright cone at the end of the flame. And that is what we call a neutral flame. That's going to give us the most amount of heat. If I go beyond that, you'll notice the torch gets louder and the flame gets shorter. That is an oxidizing flame, which is typically not something that you would use. If I, go, if I add oxygen back and I have that feather, that's a carburizing flame. And that means that there's not enough uh, oxygen in the flame or there's too much fuel. So we're going to bring that right back down to a neutral flame right there. Just make that just go away, that, that acetylene feather as it's known. So that's a neutral flame with a number 7 tip. Again, that's still a 6,000 degree flame. Same temperature as the very small one. But the BTU output that we get with this tip is going to be much greater than the smaller tip, obviously, for bigger pieces. So that's our number seven tip. Now what we'll do to extinguish that, once again, shut off our oxygen first and then shut off the fuel. Again, you can do it the other way. You're, you can shut it off the other way. You can turn the fuel off and then the oxygen. That's uh, certainly another way of doing that. So. Um, I'll, uh, next, what would I'd like to do is show you the multi-flame heating tip, or in other, some people call it a rosebud tip. I'm going to show that, uh, show you how to set that up and how to adjust that <clears throat> with the little torch. And so we'll apply that to the to the torch. Once again, um, snug that down, and we're going to once again. Uh, um, purge the line. So just a couple seconds on the gases again, just to allow that gas to flow through. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the igniter again. Again, we're going to want to try to get rid of that soot right away. Um, so we'll light it and turn it up so there's no soot coming off the end of that flame. Now we may have just a little bit too much. We want to just get it to where the soot is disappearing off the end. And then we're going to add oxygen to that to bring this to a neutral flame. Now we don't work this up necessarily like we did with the propane. We're going to bring that down to about there. Leave a little feather. It doesn't hurt to leave a little feather on that torch. But that's sort of what we want to get to uh, with a neutral flame with a little torch. Now to extinguish once again, off with our oxygen and then off with the fuel. But again, these will cast up to two, three ounces of gold or silver. Uh, and also you could maybe do a small, very small amount of platinum with that tip. But typically it requires a much larger tip for platinum applications. So that kind of shows you the difference in some of the, of the tips. We also have uh, a twin flame tip. And uh, this tip, this twin flame tip, comes in a size 4. And uh, this is designed, it can be flexed. It can actually be bent outward. You can press it out. You can reposition the flames. This is often used in resizing rings. And we're going to put this on just to show how this thing works a little bit and snug that down. But we'll have fire that comes out of both ends of these tips, and we'll adjust this to neutral just like we did the other ones. But again, you can reposition these. You can rebend the copper in or out to, to accommodate whatever piece it is that you're working on. So we'll go ahead and we'll light this on our igniter as well. We'll first purge the lines just to get in the habit of doing that. And then we're going to open our fuel and ignite the tip. And you can see here we want to get rid of the soot with this as well. And then add oxygen and bring that down again to a neutral flame. It's best not to have these opposing each other. As not to overheat the tip. So it's a good idea to have them somewhat at an angle on the, on the torch. Now again, to extinguish, turn off our oxygen and then extinguish the fuel. And that shows you the twin flame tip. Another option so you can heat things in. Again, ring sizing, it seems to work very well. They can heat both sides of the ring. It's much quicker. Uh, it gets that heat into the piece. It's uh, much, much more efficient. So that's our twin flame tip.